we have entered an unprecedented time in the history of the church. The governor, president, and even our local governments have asked us to stop meeting together in groups greater than 10. Restaurants, bars, and gyms have been limited to carry out and drive through only. Schools are going online. Nursing homes and assisted living centers are not receiving visitors, and we have been asked to self-quarantine and to keep social distancing. All of these things are so foreign to us. So much of this is a result of fear, fear of the unknown, fear of illness, fear of death, fear for the future. But God tells us in 2 Timothy 4, 7, God did not give us a spirit of fear. Throughout the Bible, he tells us, do not be afraid. He asks us in the midst of our storms, why are you afraid? So we should not live in a spirit of fear because we know God is in control. What the enemy is meant for evil, somehow God will use for his good. For us, the family of Lakeshore's church, we will not live in fear. Jesus, who calms a storm with his voice, who rides the unbroken colt, who lived, died, and was resurrected so that we may have life and live it to its fullest, not just in the future when Jesus comes back, but today here on earth, live it to its fullest. He lives, and because he lives, we can face the future. We know God is in control, and we must live our lives according. We must live in faith in God, not in fear of disease. We also have a responsibility because of our love and obedience to God. And that responsibility is to love others. And we are asking you to join us in loving others through these unique times. One of the ways we are loving others is by not meeting together in worship for a little while. I never thought in my wildest dreams I would ever say those words. But the most loving thing we can do right now is not come together for worship so that we can play our part in slowing the spread of COVID-19. The sooner the spread is slowed down, the sooner we can come back together. This is not an act of fear, but an act of faith. Faith that God's church, the bride of Christ, is more than a building. It's the people working together to share the love of Christ with the world so people can encounter the risen Christ. We do not stop being the church even though we aren't going to church. We need to continue to be the church. We need to continue to actively love each other. If we are not in a high-risk category, we need to volunteer to help others. We have links on our website and below in the comments of ways you can register to help people in our family, but also outside of this family. One of the ways we can do that is through volunteering with the Highland Lakes Crisis Network. People need shepherds who are willing to walk alongside them through their isolation, through quarantine, and through the disease. People need groceries and supplies delivered because they can't leave their homes. People need cards, phone calls, and texts of encouragement so they know and they feel the love, the hope, and part of a family rather than isolation and despair. We will love our neighbors by continuing to support the local businesses. A great act of love would be to grab carryout from a local restaurant and deliver it to someone who's shut in. We will continue to support local charities financially. We will continue to support Lakeshore's church financially because we all continue to have bills that must be paid, but also because they continue to work and serve those in need. We will volunteer at the helping center. We will stay home if we're sick. We'll get on our knees and pray. We will spend time loving our families and our friends, and we will not live in fear. Because greater is he who lives in us than he that lives in the world. Isn't that what it truly means to be the church? But in the meantime, please pray for all our leaders and those affected by these times. Please share prayer requests and needs with us so we can serve them better. Please encourage each other. Please find new ways to get together as small groups. Maybe you can chat online or, or with a phone call. Soon, we will all be able to come back together and worship. We will celebrate all that God has done. But for right now, we will do it with a little physical distance between us. But we will not allow for spiritual distance to grow between us because we know God is not distant. He is present and his spirit is alive and it brings us together. Galatians 6, 9 through 10 reminds us, let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. 
Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. I love you all, and I am truly thankful to serve alongside you, and I cannot wait until we get to come back together in worship. But until then, please go out and be the church.